you. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, nice to see you all today. And uh, uh, my name is E. Lee, and I'm a PhD student from the University of Edinburgh. And I'm really happy to be here and presenting this paper with my supervisor, Melissa, and my uh, cohort, Yong Ning. Um, and Oh, sorry. And our title today is Implicit Gender Inequality in Children's Picture Books, the Evidence from a Tax Mining Analysis of 200 Best-Selling Ch Chinese and British Titles. Um, and I know, like, compared to the last two presentations, our corpus is a bit small, but yeah, <laughs> it could be interesting later. Uh, so let's... Uh, first start with the function of the picture books. So we know picture books are the main resource for preschool children to learn about the outside world and the gender information that picture books contain would impact their perception of gender roles and might influence their future careers or uh, future choices about the gender. And um, and investigations into best-selling picture books uh, in the picture book market can reflect the gender messages, like the most gender messages that children might receive in their uh, through their daily reading. Um, uh, actually, previous studies al uh, already showed uh, the gender inequality exists mainly about the male overrepresentation and the and also portrayed a lot of traditional gender uh, stereotypes in the picture books, uh, such as the occupational gender stereotype, uh, the traditional uh, family structures, and the personalities that are portrayed as a specific gender. Um, but however, the existing evidence is um, mainly from the qualitative studies, like including close reading, uh, such as examining the narratives towards different gender, uh, or content analysis, just uh, like calculate the number of characters with different gender, like, uh, and so on. Um, also, I'd like to introduce the UK and the chi China context, uh, just to let everyone be, famili uh, be more familiar with the market. So there has been uh, continuous attention to gender representation in the children's literature, uh, including the picture books in the UK or in the English publishing industries. Um, however, the modern picture books, the idea of the modern picture books has only been introduced and improved to China like since the early two, 2000s. Um, and also many scholars argue that the Western picture books uh, has largely influenced the Chinese uh, picture book market. Um, and uh, the situation in the uh, Chinese picture books is uh, there are also some gender inequality that ca uh, can be reflected in the current uh, uh, Chinese picture books, and, but as with just limited attention. Um, however, like some scholars recently like suggested that Western picture books or English picture books um, could potentially bring more gender uh, diversity and also the more like inclusive gender information to the Chinese market. Um, so um, here comes to my research questions. Um, so the first is, what are the representation of different gender in best-selling children's picture books with uh, the uh, mainly the book text? And the second is, what are the differences in the sentimental narratives to towards different gender in the best-selling titles? And how do these two sections differ from the China and the UK market? And in this uh, in our, this study, we mainly investigated and compared the gender representation and um, trying to explore the gender narratives with the sentiment or analysis and the term frequency. Uh, so um, here, let's introduce the corpus first of all um, to get the the whole book list of the children's picture books, and um, I turn to the uh, two publishing journals, the, pu the publisher in Chinese and the bookseller in the UK, who are the two uh, like main uh, uh, publishing industry journals which provide the whole uh, data of um, 
uh, best-selling details of every week. So uh, we kind of uh, calculated uh, the the uh, book seller, like the book sales information and the book rankings, and get the top ten books from each year, and uh, final finally got uh, uh, 200 best-selling picture books from 2011 to 2020 uh, in both uh, corpus. And then we uh, digitized them and transcribed all the book text. Um, and we got like over 300,000 Chinese characters. And um, I want to mention here because um, in in Chinese language, um, the words are combined with different independent Chinese characters. So um, normally, uh, a word can be uh, can, can can conclude you know, can include two or three or four characters. That's why we only got like ten uh, around ten thousand unique Chinese words in our corpus in the end. But in the UK corpus, we got around eighty thousand English words in total. And uh, here we are uh, when it comes to the data processing. And the first step is the word segmentation. And we firstly segmented the sentences in our corpora. And we use the JABA package because uh, the characteristics of Chinese language. And uh, to split the sentence into different uh, unique Chinese words. And for English, it's much more easier. So we just use the space to split sentences into uh, uh, English words. And then uh, we kind of annotated and categorized all the gender words in our corpus. And we identified the wor gender words in our data set into five cat categor uh, categor categories. And uh, which are the pronouns such as she, him, and nouns which is ladies, gentlemen, captain, king, queen, something like that. And the family identities, uh, which is like mom, dad, gran grandma, grandpa, and um, as well as the name of characters. So um, here I want to mention because uh, uh, we kind of manually um, coded all the uh, characters gender with referencing the illustrations from the picture books. So, and the final, uh, the last category is the uh, animals because we found some words uh, with animal words that has contains gender information in it. Uh, like for example, the hen, rooster, bull, and I don't know if uh, it's the same, but it's the same in the Chinese uh, words as well. And um, here, I also want to mention, because um, we only coded the gender information into like binary gender, because we are, of course, we are aware that there are more gender minorities in the modern picture books. But however, this is not yet the case in our database, which is very sad. But yeah, so uh, to make it easier, so we just coded to the female and male words. And then after the gender was characterization, we used the term frequency to calculate the frequencies of all the gender words and categories and compare the top gender words between two markets. Um, and the last, of the last step is we tried the sentiment analysis of uh, our data set. And here uh, we use the different packages from Chinese Corpus and English. Uh, basically, uh, we got the sentiment analysis um, uh, provides us a sentiment score for each sentence in our data set, and um, uh, giving the score from minus one to one, with one being super negative, minus one being super negative, and one being uh, super positive. Here is uh, a few uh, examples in our data set. Uh, we kind of uh, checked it and it, it kind of makes sense, for example, like here uh, in the Chinese corpus, there's my mom is really, really amazing, which has been coded as like 0.98, which is super positive. And um, 
But however, this, uh, the last sentence from the English corpus is, I am Princess Pearl. It's just a very neutral one, so um, the package just gave us the score of zero. Um, so here is our results. And first is the gender of authorship. Uh, we want to, uh, this is not from the text mining method, we just manual, manually called it all the uh, author's gender and illustrator's gender to reference our future results. Um, uh, here we can see there are more female authors than male authors in the UK market. However, there are more male authors than female authors in Chinese market. However, the situation in illustrators is quite different because there are more male illustrators in the UK market, but male fi uh, more female illustrators in the chi China. And uh, this shows the uh, total frequency of all the gender words. And uh, we, uh, the, sla the, the number be before the slash is the number of words, of gender words that in our corpus. And the number after the slash is the frequencies of the whole gender words in, like male words or female words in that category. And um, it is quite noticeable because um, basically, in two corpora, uh, in two corpora um, the male words are way more than uh, the female words. However, in the gender identity section, uh, we can find out more, f more female words than male words. Um, uh, and also, I think in the UK titles, there are more female animals than male animals. That is quite funny. And this is the top 30 gender words in British and the Chinese text. And all the, the star signs marks all the categories. And uh, the red words are all the uh, female words. And um, there, there are like 45 characters in two corpora which like features gender and is highly popular. So, uh, the next one is the common, common popular gender words in two corpora. And we can see he, she, mom, dad, mister, grandpa are the, are the top popular gender words in, 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 both, in both English and the chi, chi, China. Um, uh, this, the other table shows the, the number before the slash shows the rank of the gender words in the, in the gender words uh, word list. And the, word, and the number after the slash shows the rank of, the, of these words in the whole word list. So um, we can see he is the most popular word in, in both English corpus and Chinese corpus, which is quite impress impressive, I think. And here, I also want to uh, mention that um, the mom is m way more popular in Chinese corpus than in the British corpus. And I, uh, we think it could be the traditional family structures um, uh, like which emphasize mom more than that, uh, which is still quite prevalent in the Chinese best-selling ch uh, children's picture books. And interestingly, like uh, the grandpa is a very popular image in the picture books in both markets. Um, and the next page is the sentiment score that varies from gender and countries. So we can see there is uh, uh, the first column is a median score of other uh, uh, gender sentences in that category, and the second is an average score, and um, the third column is the number of like how, how many sentences in that category has been calculated. Um, it's interesting that like in the sentences that contains both male and females, that has the highest uh, like sentiment score, which I would guess like. Uh, characters would, would uh, maybe feel more, uh, like happier or more positive when they are together. And um, 
there is also a big gap in the sentences mentioning different gender information in China. Um, and this, like, sen the sentiment score for the, uh, as mentioned, for the sentence which contain po both gender are the most sentiment uh, post positive category. So, um, the discussion in, in our, in this paper, uh, it shows that evidence of gender inequality in the best-selling picture books is it can be found in both markets. However, the gap between male and female representation is much bigger in the Chinese corpus. Um, and also, and compared to that, like the UK British market like shows more areas of e equality, such as the popularity of female authors in the UK list or the ratio of female words in the English corpus and the few, fewer emotional changes in the gender narratives. Um, and actually we want to uh, emphasize that the sentiment analysis, because it has received a lot of doubts in recent years, especially applying in the children's well, applying in literature. So with we think we just want to do a, a experimental studies with a sentiment analysis because uh, it might have also ignored the emotional change in the children's stories and the emotions between the different characters. However, we still want to use it because um, uh, like the picture books are mainly from the like little kids like aged like before six. So the languages they use in the picture books can be quite direct and easy. Um, maybe I was wrong. Like, uh, so we kind of think maybe we can try this method to see uh, if there is any interesting results. But um, it's very necessary to con consider the evidence from the qualitative methods as well. Um, but uh, like we still hope that sentiment analysis could somehow reference the future, like close reading or content analysis. Um, anyway, uh, we think the text mining techniques we used in this paper provide us with a statistic results on the gender representations in the book text, and which reflects the two book markets in the UK and China. And this this studies also reveals that gender is implicitly embedded in the languages that we might not be aware of. And maybe it would in indirectly impact children's minds or shape their minds through their daily read reading. So I think uh, there is what we can do in the future. I think from these studies, we can maybe generate a dictionary of gender words that that's showing in the children's literature, especially in children's picture books, and like for the future application. And we can update frequently, of course. And um, uh, further, we can uh, explore the use of gender words in uh, different sentences, the position in, in the sentences, and also in different languages. And but the third is we can expand the data set and then enlarge the corpus in the children's picture books and further the children's literature. So thank you everyone. And also I want to say uh, there are more details uh, that if you are interested, we can see in our future publication in early 2024. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much.